welcome back. I thought that I would quickly um, go over some of the things that we've had go on here uh, the last month or so and also uh, touch on some of our goals for this year for 2019. We had the vet come out and sedate the two burrows which you see back there, Hazel and, and Buddy, and do their hooves. Uh, it was, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. This was our first time doing it, but it was successful. Their hooves were taken care of. Uh, they were, everybody was given their vaccinations and worming. They are doing very well. We need to obviously spend more time with them, working with their their um, legs and hooves, so that hopefully next time we won't have to do as much on the sedating end of it. Something that we learned this time that I didn't know before is that burrows have a faster metabolism than do horses and so it takes a lot more to sedate them than it would a horse uh, of course serenity doesn't have to be sedated to have her hooves done she's even though she's a, a wild mustang she does very well um the farrier is able to uh, take care of her hooves with little to no problems anymore the burrows, on the other hand, are another story, but they haven't really been worked with a whole lot. Uh, they had to have quite uh, quite a few shots so that the fairy was able to take care of their hooves. I'm hoping that if uh, we work with them daily or every other day, uh, if daily is impossible, that we'll get them to the point where it will only take maybe one shot this next time and hopefully to the point where we won't have to do that at all like I was saying before they metabolize their metabolism is faster so once you give them the shot into their vein it just goes in and out of their bloodstream very quickly and the, the fairy doesn't have enough time to do much if the shot is given in the muscle, they actually, the farrier actually has a little more time to work with in order to get their hooves done. So it was a learning experience. Uh, but their hooves are done. They're all vaccinated. Um, they've all been wormed. And the vet also took care of our goats while she was here as well. So they're all taken care of for the year. The remaining cats, kittens, are now spayed or neutered. So we will not be having any more litters of kittens. Hopefully no other cats are dropped off here and we won't have to go through that again. But everybody's taken care of. So we are good to go on that. So what are our goals for 2019? I think that 
after the past couple of years of making a long list of things that we want to do and trying to accomplish all of those things, which never happens, that we've decided to concentrate on what we do have and getting everything squared away as best as possible, trying to figure out the ways to sustain what we have before adding anything else to our list of responsibilities. So what do we have now? We have the horse and the burrows. We have three female goats. We have ducks and chickens and two turkeys. We have the orchard. We have seeds that we have bought for planting the animal garden that never was planted. We have seeds for a garden. We had plans to do a garden last year, it never happened. So our plans for this year are to work with the horse and burrows to get them to where they need to be, to where we can enjoy them and use them around here. Our plans are to learn as much as we can about the goats and breeding and delivering kids and work with the goats on socializing. I am going to attempt clicker training with the goats so I'll make sure to include that. We um, are going to spend a lot of time on our with our trees making sure we fertilize them as we need to prune them as we need to protect them against the uh, birds and the squirrels we're likely going to have to replace quite a few trees uh, I do plan to plant the animal garden this year and get that to where we would like it to be because my ultimate goal is to be able to feed our hens from our, our garden to cut down on our feed cost and I'd really like to do that um, I also very much want to have a garden and so I'm going to start small this year I'm going to we're going to use raised uh, raised garden boxes to grow things closer to the house and construct something to put over the top to protect them from squirrels, from birds, from the cats that are now all over our property. We will keep you up to date on everything we're doing. Thanks so much for joining us. 